Welcome to this service. At entrance you should tell, Heavenly Father God, let your mercy be upon us. Give the deaths peace and rest. Give the churches unity and give the world peace. Amen, Amen, Amen. Stop wicked people from doing bad things. Keep your own people safe. You always do what is right and you know how we think and feel. The Most High God is like a shield to keep me safe. He takes care of good, honest people. God is a judge who is fair. Every day he is angry against wicked people. If they do not change the way that they live, God will prepare to punish them. He will make his sword sharp, and he will put an arrow in his bow. He will prepare his dangerous weapons. He is ready to shoot his arrows that burn with fire. Look, wicked people prepare to do evil things. They want to cause trouble. Let us pray the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our heart by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer of Penitence God so loved the world that he gave his only son Jesus Christ to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolve to keep God's commandments, and to live in love and peace with all. Confession Father eternal, giver of light and grace, we have sinned in what we have thought, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and married your images in us. We are sorry and ashamed and re repent of all our sins for the sake of your son jesus christ who died for us forgive us all that is past and lead us uh, out from darkness to walk in children of light amen gloria gloria in excelsis deu gloria gloria in excelsis deu glory to god in the highest and peace to his people on earth Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Gloria, Gloria. In excelsis Deu, Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deu, Amen. Like a pregnant woman, what starts inside them comes out into the open. They give birth to lies that deceive people. Wicked people want to hurt people. They are digging a deep hole for people to fall into, but they fall into the hole themselves. The ideas that they have to hurt other people bring trouble on themselves. They want to be cruel to other people, but they themselves receive the pain. So I will thank the Lord because he does what what is right the lord is the most high god so i will sing to praise his name amen
the sky at night. Lord or ruler, your name is famous all over the world. The sky above shows how great you are. You have taught children and babies to praise you. You do that to show your enemies how strong you are. Anyone who turns against you has to be quiet. Your cruel enemies can do nothing. You made the skies with your own hands. When I look up, I see the moon and the stars. You have put them all in the right place. The Bible, John 5, part 16 to 30, Jesus claims to be the Son of God. So the Jewish leaders began harassing Jesus for breaking the Sabbath rules. But Jesus replied, My father is always working, and so am I. So the Jewish leaders tried all the harder to, to kill he, uh, to kill Jesus, for he not only broke the Sabbath, he called God, he, God his Father, thereby making himself equal to God. So Jesus explained, I tell you the truth, the Son can do nothing by himself, he does only what he sees the Father doing. Whatever the Father does, the Son also does. For the Father loves Son and shows him everything he is doing. In fact, the Father will show him how to do even greater works than healing this man. Then you will truly be astonished. For just as the Father gives life to those he raises from the dead, so the Son gives life to anyone he wants. In addition, the Father judges no one. Instead, he has given the Son absolute author authority to judge as that everyone will honor the Father. Anyone who does not honor the Son is certainly not honoring the Father who sent him. I tell the truth. Those who listen to my message and believe in God who sent me have eternal life. They will never be condemned for their sins, but they have already passed from death into life. And I assure you that the time is coming, indeed it's here now, when the dead will hear my voice, the voice of the Son of God. And those who listen will live. The Father has life in him in himself and he has granted that same life-giving power to his son and he has given him authority to judge everyone because he is the son of man don't be so surprised indeed the time is coming when all the dead in their graves ra raise again those who have done good we raised to experience eternal life and those who have continued in evil will be raised to experience judgment i can do nothing on my own i judge as god tells me therefore my judgment is just because i carry out the will of the one who sent me not my own will this is the word of Jesus. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Epistle Romans 5. Therefore, since we have been made right in God's sight by faith, we have peace with God because of what Jesus Christ our Lord has done for us. Because of our faith, Christ has brought us into this place of undeserved privilege 
where we know now stand and we confidently and joyfully look forward to sharing God's glory. We can rejoice too when we run into problems and trails for we know that they help us develop endurance. And endurance develops strength of character and character strengths our confident hope of salvation. And this hope will not lead to disappointment for we know how dearly God loves us because he has given us Holy Spirit to fill our utterly helpers. Christ came at just right time and died for us sinners. Now, most people would not be willing to die for an unright person, though someone might perhaps be willing to die for a person who is especially good, God. But God shows, showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. And since we have been made right in God's sight by the blood of Christ, he will certainly save us from God's condemnation. For since our friendship with God was restored by the death of his son, while we were still his enemies, we certainly be saved through the life of his son. So now we can rejoice in our wonderful new relationship with God because Jesus Christ has made us friends of God. This is the word of Jesus. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Gospel Matthew six part five to eight and fourteen to eighteen. When you pray. Don't be like the hypocrites who love to pray publicly on street concerts and in the synagogues where everyone can see them. I tell you the truth. This is all the re uh, reward they will ever get. But when you pray, go away by yourself. Shut the door behind you and pray to your father in private then your father who sees everything will reward you. When you pray, don't babble on and on as the Gentiles do. They think their prayers are answered merely by repeating their words again and again. Don't be like them, for your father knows exactly what you need even before you ask him. If you forgive, those who sin against you, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you refuse to forgive others, your Father will not forgive your sins. And when you fast, don't make it obvious, as the hypocrites do, for they try to look miserable and dis disheveled, uh, so people will admire them for their, their fasting. I tell you the truth, that is the only reward they will ever get. But when you fast, comb your hair and wash your face, then no one will notice that you are fasting, except the Father who knows what you do in private. And your Father who sees everything will reward you. Glory be to you, O Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. 
So why you even think about men and women? Why do you take care of humans? You have made their place a little below God himself. You have made them great like kings. You have chosen them to rule everything that you have made. You have put everything under their authority. Yes, humans rule them all, sheep and cows, wild animals, birds, fish, and all the things that swim in the sea. Lord our ruler, your name is famous all over the world. Hallelujah, Amen. Preaching. Let all your needs in the hands of God and Jesus and trust on their timing. Each time you will be in a place first time, tell, please Jesus, go before me and make my way easy. Forgive those who make sins against you and let God be the judge. Pray that you don't make sins and leave your life in the hands of God to correct your thoughts, actions, and paths. Be humble. Even you have high position, for God loves humbles and give them more responsibilities. Respect people as they are, so God puts you in higher place and lets you to be respected. Decreed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made a man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. This, uh, he, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to A sign to thank God. All that I am saying, thank you to the Lord. I will tell people about all the great things that you have done. I will be very happy because of you. I will sing to praise your name most high God. Because my enemies have seen your power, they turned back and they fell down. You won against them. Amen. You showed that I was right. You sat on your throne as a judge who truly decides what is right. Clearly, you spoke against the nations. You destroyed the wicked people so that nobody will remember them ever again. Down came the cities of our enemies. You destroyed them forever. People will just forget them. Prayers of intercessions. We pray for the whole world 
to solve their conflicts and live in peace and grace. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for all poor countries. Give them rain and let them use it usefully to make food. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for sick people. Please heal them and let them know your miracles and let them adore you. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. Amen. The peace. We are the body of Christ. In the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes us for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always be with you. Amen. Preparation of taking the bread and wine. You must have a piece of bread and a glass of non-alcoholic wine or water. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be with God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. Your Lord is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendor, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your own do we give you. The Lord is here, His Spirit is with us, lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord, let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is right to give thanks and praise, Amen. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. For He is your living Word. Through Him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving him to be born of a woman and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand of high. Through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a, a people for your own possessions. Therefore, we angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and singing, Holy Holy, Holy, Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, who sana in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our salvation, Jesus Christ, and as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. who is in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them saying drink this all of you this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me therefore heavenly father we remember this offering of him himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of our kingdom and with this bread and this cup of a uh, cup we make the memorial of Christ your son our Lord. Amen. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Amen. Accept through him our great high Lord, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord through him and with him and in him in the unity of the holy spirit with all who stand before you in the earth and heaven we worship you father almighty in songs of everlasting praise blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever amen The Lord's Prayer Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and glory and are yours now and forever. Amen. If you are many, break the bread and share with each other. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Son of God, you take away the sin of the world have mercy on us son of god you take away the sin of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sin of the world grant us peace amen giving of communion most merciful lord your love compels us to come in. Our hands were unclean. Our hearts were unprepared. We were not fit even to eat this crumb, the crumbs from under your table. 
about you Lord or the God of our salvation and share your bread with sinners so cleanse and feed us with the precious body and blood of your son that he may live in us and we in him and that we with the whole company of Christ may sit and eat in your kingdom Amen God's holy gifts for God's holy people Jesus Christ is holy Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father Amen You can eat the bread and drink the wine or water If it is water you are drinking you can uh, ask Jesus to turn as wine in your body The peace of God which passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always Amen it is the end of the service Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Jesus. Amen. Evermore the Lord will rule as king. He sits on his throne as judge. He is fair when he judges all the people in the world. He brings justice to all the nations for poor people the Lord gives a safe place when trouble comes to them he keeps them self safe hallelujah amen everyone who knows you Lord trust in you you will never turn away from anyone who comes to you for help Give a sign to the Lord to praise him. He rules as king in Zion. Tell all the nations about the great things that he has done. God punishes murderers and he takes care of people who receive pain from others. When they call to him, he does not refuse to help them. At exit, you should tell I give over my past to the mercy of God, my presence for the love of God, and my future of God's protection. Amen.